Greetings and welcome to part 9 of my tutorial series on how to program the Kurzweil PC3. Today I want to introduce you to algorithms and how to edit algorithms. Now we've been using algorithms all along, uh, but we haven't really talked about how to create your own yet. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, this one's not really going to be a sound example. Uh, I, I mostly just want to focus on, on how to create algorithms, how to edit them, and so forth. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is the way the blocks host DSP functions are arranged in your layer. Okay, so you can have up to four blocks like this. Okay, now these blocks can be one unit wide, they can be two units wide, they could be four units wide, or they could be three units wide like this. Okay, so let's say for instance that you scroll through the algorithms that come with the PC3 and you can't find one that you want. Uh, because you want to route a signal in such a way that uh, you know that 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 you can't do using one of the default algorithms. You can create your own. Um, for instance, I have a bunch here that I've created for various purposes, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do this yourself. So let's start with algorithm one. Let's um, go ahead and hit edit. Okay. Note I have one highlighted here. I'm going to hit edit. This now takes me to the edit alg page. All right, so let's say for instance that uh, I want this to be have four single blocks and I want this first block here to be a mixer. Okay, so this number here inputs specifies how many inputs this block has and outputs specifies how many outputs this block has. So I'm going to put it up to two. Okay, so now this block has two inputs. Now I can, uh, the, the way that, that, that editing works on this is you can reconnect the inputs, okay, so you, you don't connect the outputs uh, necessarily, what you do is you, you highlight an input and say I want signal A or signal B coming into this input. So for instance I can do this and so my outside signal is coming into the top and then my key map signal is coming into the bottom or I can do this, switch them around so that my outside uh, signals coming in through the bottom and the key maps coming in through the top. Okay, so that's simple enough. Let's say that I wanted to have um, two outputs. Okay, now the name of this here, separate left right, is very descriptive because that's exactly what you'll hear. If you were to listen to this, you would hear uh, this signal coming through here in the left speaker and then this signal coming through here in the right speaker. Okay, uh, and, and so that's useful for a bunch of different things and I'll, I'll show you um, an example or two of that in just a few minutes. Okay, so let's say that I want this to have separate left and right outputs. Uh, I don't want to hear the key map coming out of the second output, but I do want to pick up the signal after this second, uh, this second block here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight this. Whoops, excuse me. Okay, so I'm highlighting this output, or I'm sorry, the, well, this input, I guess you could say, into the next layer. And I'm going to scroll through here, and I'm going to select the signal as it comes out of this second uh, DSP block here. So my key map and my input signal are going to get mixed, and then they're going to come through here. Uh, and, and I'm going to be able to do some other stuff to the top signal or to the uh, the left signal whereas the right signal is only going to have applied to it whatever this DSP is here. Okay so let's say we like this this is great so let's hit save and it will give you an ID number um, and if you already have an algorithm saved and an ID number it will warn you about that. Okay so I'm going to hit save 1039 and we're good to go. Okay let's say that uh, I want to do something like this. Let me pick algorithm 131. 131 is special because it has two inputs. Okay, so we're not going to hear anything coming through the key map of this layer. Instead, we're going to hear two signals coming in from outside of, uh, of this particular uh, layer. Now, if I hit edit here, okay, and let's say I want to grab the second signal. I want to route it straight into this uh, block that's three blocks wide and I scroll with the scroll wheel I cannot for the life of me pick up that signal there okay what to do well first of all don't panic okay so let's go to 
I believe it was 103.9. Yeah, let's go to this algorithm we just created. I'm going to show you a trick for how to um, work with the uh, algorithm editor in an easy way to create two input algorithms. Okay, so I'm going to go here to, oh, let's, I'm sorry, I want to go here to new layer. I'm going to pick a new layer. It doesn't matter what I do at this point. Uh, I could keep this layer or throw it away. I'm actually just going to use it specifically so uh, I can edit the algorithm and make the editing easier. Notice when I go from none to layer one as input that I have two uh, signal, uh, two, two wires representing signals coming into this algorithm, okay? Um, because the, the, the previous layer, if I go up, has two outputs. Okay, so now I've got two inputs here. If I hit edit now on the algorithm, here are my two inputs. And uh, let's say, for instance, that, let's see, I wanted to do this. And let's see, I wanted this block here to be a three. So two, three, like that. Okay. Now let's say that, let's put this up to two. All right, perfect. Okay, so my X fade, or, or my, my, my two input block here, I want it to pull the top signal, and I want it, pull the signal, want it to pull the signal from the key map. So let me scroll to the top signal here, and now I have the signal from the key map. Now let's say, for instance, that I want to pull this bottom signal into the three block here. Okay, I simply scroll and there it is. Now I can attach to that second signal. Uh, and and that's, that's the way you create these kinds of algorithms uh, easily, is to uh, wire up a couple of layers in series, one of which has two outputs and then the other one will automatically have two inputs and then you edit the algorithm, then you can, you can wire things up however you'd like. Okay, so that is my uh, simple, hopefully, introduction to how to edit algorithms. Feel free to ask questions in comments. I understand that at this point in time, in uh, the tutorial series I'm doing, we're starting to get into some more advanced stuff. So uh, I highly recommend that if you haven't, that you go back through and you watch some of the other tutorials and that you play along on your, uh, your PC3 so that you can get a sense for how all of these things work and how they work together because uh, if you come into this on tutorial number nine you might be a little bit confused but if you are and you have questions feel free to ask I'm happy to answer them and uh, I, I, I hope that I can provide you with some guidance okay thank you very much for watching and I will see you in tutorial number 10